Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, um, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, a little exciting, and I'm going to be unboxing a book. Ooh, but not just any book, my own book. Oh my god! <laughs> um, so yeah, this package came in the mail yesterday, and I've been very good about not peeking inside, um, because I kind of wanted to do, like, my live first impressions with, like, you guys. Um, so yes, inside here is the sequel to my first book, Curse Fate. Uh, the book in here is called Wicked Breed, and this is me seeing the test cover for the first time. So, let's unbox this together! Ooh! Okay, so this is the front of Wicked Breed. This, don't mind this, this won't be on the actual books. This just says not for real sale because it's like a test copy. Um, so the actual books won't have this band across the front, but look at it. I was a little worried about um, the front cover because I didn't know if the text was too big. I didn't know if it would like bleed into her head. Um, but in person, it doesn't. There's like a lot of space. Cause like if you look at like, do I, I don't, do I have a copy? Like, if you look at the test cover for Cursed Fate, um, the text is a lot smaller because I wanted to make sure you could see his face. Um, the text on this one is, like, a lot bigger, so I don't know if that's too jarring for folks. Um, please let me know that down in the comments if you think the text should be smaller on this one to better match this, because I think this is a little bit smaller. But I don't think it gets in the way of the image at all, which is crazy to me. Um, but yeah, this is the front. I think it looks amazing. That's so cool. Um, this is the side so that you'll see them stacked like this. Ooh. And then, um, this is the back. The back is like super intense, which is kind of like what I wanted to do. Um, just to be a little cheeky. This back is more mellow. The front's the more exciting part, but the back is kind of more like mellow. Um, this one, the front is like not not exciting because there's still stuff going on here, but like the back is crazy. Like, oh my god, what? <laughs> um, just look at the impact. Like, what other book covers do this? Like, I love Melina. She's such a talented artist and she always brings my crazy ideas to life. Um, but yeah, these are the two books that are supposed to go together. The sequel is a little bit thicker than the first. Not by much, but she's a little bit thicker. And then, um, eventually... Oh, wait, the paper's a different color. Oh, see, that's good that I ca caught that. See? The papers are a different color. So, um, I'll go ahead and change that. This is... This is why we have test copies. This is, like, a stark white. I don't know if you can tell on camera. But it's stark white, and this one is more of, uh, like a more yellowy color. I don't know which one I like better. You guys let me know which one you like better. Because I think the yellow is, like, more nostalgic-y. But, I don't know, the, the white really pops with the colors. I don't know, you guys, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. Help me make decisions. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to have Douglas look at these two and give me his opinions. Um, so that I know what's up. I just want to make sure that these two look like they go together. I think they do. Um, and then, like, in terms of future plans, I was going to do one more book in this series. Um, more like a prequel. But, um, I kind of want to, like, chill on this for a minute and work on some other projects. Um, so for now, it's just, like, these two. But, um, yeah, I don't know if this is... This is so cool. I don't know. I'm so excited. Um, it's always, like, super exciting to get the book in your hands after spending, like, at least, like, for me, at least a year um, working on the same thing to see it, like, actually in your hands is, like, a whole other feeling. So, yeah. Oh, I'm just so excited. So, um, this book officially drops on November 24th. Um, that is Black Friday for, for anyone who pays attention to that kind of stuff. But this will be up on Amazon and it comes out on the 24th. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, if you want, I guess I could read you the back. I don't want to do like too many spoilers for y'all uh, in case you haven't read the first one. And yeah, I'm just going to read the back of this one. So, um, so it says, Lalina returns from the deepest crevices 
Oh, there's a typo. Oh, okay. Good job, me. <laughs> okay, this is why we have test copies. To crevices of, I need of there, the other. Thanks to Aries' sacrifice. Vincent is weak from his encounter with his notorious father, but he is safe. The pair reunite with princess with the princesses, Vaxoa and Nitra, but it is uncertain how the four of them are going to work together to stop the Dark King's destructive plans. They must all venture away from the Arivestor. Erivesto Archipelago and travel back to Vincent's home, where each of them will be forced to confront their deepest fears while relying on one another for support. Combining the best aspects of found family and animal companions, Wicked Breed acts as a band-aid to all of us who come from a broken home, who wish that there were there was a magical solution for all of our problems. Well, magic won't make things better on its own, but at least it brings the right sort of people together. People who know how to act in spite of their fear and who continue to be righteous when the world gives them every reason not to be. Yes, so that's that. Um, a little bit different than like, basically for this book, I gave like a legit just summary of the book on the back. This one, I kind of wanted to evoke more feelings. So I hope that like ca causes you to want to buy this book. I don't know. Um, I also changed my author description, um, if you, just because I've written a lot more since this was published, like, this was my first ever, ever, ever book or ever project I've worked on, and I've done a lot since then, so I changed, um, my writing bio on the back of this, too. Um, but the picture is still the same. I should probably get a new author's picture, because my hair looks crazy here, and my hair just looks a lot different nowadays, um, but that will be for another time. <laughs> so, yeah, this, that's Wicked Breed. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this is like a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, but I just wanted, I don't know, I just wanted to share this like part of the author process with you guys. And, um, yeah, let me know if you're excited. Let me know if you want to see more unboxings like this when I make future books. Um, I'm working on another project right now, but, um, that is going to take a long time. <laughs> a long time to get finished. Um, and for that one, I do plan on trying to query again, just because I feel like I love publishing independently, don't get me wrong, but I feel like for that one, it has the potential to be more. And I know my own limitations as an independent artist, and um, I don't know if I can give it all the love and attention and resources that it truly deserves. So for that one, I will be querying agents and um, tr and traditional publishers. Um, agents first, because... I mean, they have a lot more marketing resources than I do as just, like, a random person on the internet. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But I will still be independently, like, publishing other projects. It's just this one. This one is special to me, and I, and I want it to... Not that these aren't, but, like, that one is... Um, I don't know. I just got a different feeling for that one. So, um, stay tuned for that. And <laughs> until next time, thanks. Bye!